Hey everyone, my name is Mehul and welcome back. And in this video, I want to formally introduce you to how to install packages. Now we have been installing packages in the last couple of videos, but we haven't actually seen how to actually, you know, just, just as a formal video, how to do that. So you already know that you can install it using npm install lodash, right? And we know that what happens under the hood about, about the npm view and all that stuff. But yeah, when you do that, what it's what it do is that it fetches that URL, does that thing, you know about that. There's a shortcut actually to npm install. You can just leave the whole install word and just write i and just load ash like that, right? And just go ahead and do that. It'll it'll just work in a similar way. And if you if you try to install a package again and again, you're gonna see that you start getting this messages that updated one package package and audited one package. It's not installing it again and again, right? It knows that it is already installed, it knows that it is present, so it just stops and does not install it. So you can safely, you know, if you're not sure if a package is available or not, you can safely go ahead and install it. So yep. That's how npm install works in a nutshell. You can use the whole word npm install or you can just write the shortcut that is npm i and write the name of the package that is name of package. If it is available, it will install. If it is some garbage package name, then npm would just complain to you that this package is not available, right? It says you that 404, this package is not found. So yeah, that's basically it. How you're gonna install packages with npm. That's all for this video. I'll see you pretty soon in the next one.